My name is Andrew Bodu. You are searching for a caterpillar. So all we have, so all we have to do is we were walking in the forest and finally came across our first caterpillar. Guys, guys, guys! This is a, is a snake-headed green cat. Is this is a, is a tiger stripe swallowtail caterpillar? They they have they have good camouflaging. Let's put it in my container. So these caterpillars always eat and eat a lot. So they can turn into you know. Ash. By the way, they can they whenever they whenever they fall, they curl them they curl themselves up into a ball. And you see this, this is what they do whenever they poop. See, that's what, that's what it is whenever they poop. Every time and every day, if they get poops. So, and you see, people call them tiger, tiger stripe swallow-tailed caterpillars, because this black stripe is just like a tiger's. And, the, and these two dots are just like a snake's. But it's actually a defense to tell other predators it's a snake. So that's why the predators get so scared and then run and fly away or run away. So that's why that's how they defend themselves. And by the way, actually they can eat they eat a lot. They they can all, they can even hide because these green these green body, the green body, helps it to, to blend in in every tree and when it's in. It can only blend in in the surroundings. They can even, when, when it's a female, the female turns into, you know, black, yellow, and whenever they grow, they make a cocoon. Whenever they're done, it takes seven to ten days to to hatch out of the cocoon. Then the wings start to grow in a, in two hours. First, it has to pump all the air in the abdomen. Then the wings grow, and then ta-da! A, a tiger stripe swallow-tailed butterfly. So that's why the tiger stripe swallow-tailed caterpillar only do these jobs. They can even eat and eat. They can even be found anywhere. Just like in your own gardens, in sugar cans. And they, they eat black cherries. Just like that. So, and the predators are seagulls, birds, small spiders, spiders, ants, and sometimes even other big insects. Such as the praying mantis are this, the praying mantis are good hunters. And even, you know, and even the hornet. So that's why they use this camouflage to hide from deep their own predators from their own surroundings. So, as you know, these in their leg you can see small su suction. You can see small suction in their leg, and you see. In their leg, there's small suckers. They hook just like harpoons. They hook just like a harpoon pe poking you. So that's why, but it's actually what it helps it to, to use it to grip anywhere. So look, first, whenever it find, finds a place to, to climb and make and eat, they just go there. But if there, if, if a predator sees it, it hides in the surroundings where it is. Then it hides of putting his head inside the, the body and then, no, and then nobody can see it. Their lifespan, they can, I'm Sean Boodle. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on to the next adventure.